why change is difficult and my five tips to help you overcome your resistance to change. Change, whether in life or business, is often met with a lot of resistance. And this resistance stems from a variety of things, including fear of the unknown, loss of control, you know, and the comfort zone and resistance to move out of that comfort zone. So we need to understand why that is happening. Fear of the unknown. Us as humans are creatures of habit. And the unknown triggers fear in us that absolutely paralyzes us and makes us stay in that place. The second main one is the loss of control, that we feel that if we make a change, people might feel that we're losing control over our environment and our circumstances. And this perceived loss right, is why we have a resistance to changing. And then the third one is the comfort zones. Because we are creatures of habit, we like being in those comfort zones. We don't like moving out of them because it's hard work. It's bloody hard work sometimes. So what are we going to do about that? Right, first of all, number one, set some clear and realistic goals. You know, what is it you want to achieve? Set yourself up some smart goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time bound. And then break those bigger goals down into smaller goals so it works. Cultivate yourself a positive mindset. You know, focus on the positive aspects of the change rather than fearing failure and getting it wrong. You know, just look at it. This is an opportunity to learn and to grow. You know, be a bit kind to yourself. A little bit of self-compassion works. You know, number three, get yourself a support system. Join an accountability group. You know, get a group of people around you that are good for you. You know, you've heard it said you can't change the people around you, but you can change the people around you. Get some healthy habits. You know, the number one, consistency is a really good healthy habit. You know, get a few routines in your life that are helping you be consistent. And then prioritize some self-care for yourself. Look after yourself. Look after your physical well-being, your mental well-being. You know, some regular exercise, a balanced diet and some decent sleep. And then number five, about staying flexible and adaptable. You know, embrace flexibility and understand that not everything's going to go your way or as planned. So being adaptable allows you to adjust your approach to a much better way when faced with obstacles. And then take some time to reflect and adjust what you've done. So you measure it because what gets measured gets changed. So have a look at that and think about, you know, this personal change requires some effort. But if it's worth it, you'll do it. If not, you'll find an excuse. If you want to know more, come and look at ash.club forward slash ash. And if you've enjoyed this video, please watch the next video just here or subscribe to my YouTube channel just here.